Golo no one everybody balik maning karo nyong esa make jede wong Jawa in let's play Grandia 2. Without further ado, let's just continue. So, if you guys Nah, actually, no. There's nothing important. Alright, so. Last time we saved the town. And we already spent uh, our time buying stuff. So, now we were going to the Skyway Station to continue our story. Okay. Where do we go again? So I encounter some problem uh, because this is an RPG and there's a lot of grinding on it. I practically run off of running out of space on my first attempt on recording this episode. So I deleted everything. I free some spaces and yeah, let's just get into it and hope for the best. Feeling better? Yes, thanks to the sister and your party. Thank you very much. I'm so glad that we are back to normal. I just cannot thank you enough. Thank you, miss. I have something important to do, so... So, measure for measure, all's well that ends well, the townsfolk have been saved, and all is as it should be. Mr. Gadan, well, he took care of his body but not his soul, perhaps this was his error. He was right, to a certain extent. What do you mean? The people of this town. They sacrificed their well-being for promise of, promises of wealth. Gadan didn't have to do anything, really. The people decided that what they wanted, a subtle trap. But still, the trap has been sprung. All has been put right. If everyone works together, happiness will return to even this broken world. Lord Granas yet watches over us. You've missed the point entirely, princess. The story doesn't end here. We don't all hold hands and skip home. Huh? The world is not so black and white. The answers aren't as bad as you'd like to believe. What? Well, what do you mean? You'll find out eventually. Come on, we've yet to cross the granite cliffs. Just a little farther to the cathedral. And let's continue. Actually, we've already passed this part on the first day, so I know, I already know and remembered what happened of this. But I won't spoil anything, so just take your time and yeah, let's just watch. Conversation. What was I doing? What it'll ha it all happened? Just what happened? Dawn? The town of Elmar and Miss Millenia. Just what w was that all about? Miss Elena? I cannot understand it. Elena, are you well? Do you not remember fighting with the tongue? And just who is this Millenia? Elena, you look pretty pale. Are you okay? Do you remember anything at all? Nope. What happened to me? You do. Just what happened, medic? What happened? Tell me, you guys. I cannot remember anything at all. Just what did I do? 
Don't you remember going to the seal or being attacked? I can't believe that Miss Melania is Felmar. So there was not only one evil smell. I do not remember. I felt faint, almost like I was sleeping. That monster was the tongue of Felmar. Elena, when you were attacked by the tongue, Melania appeared again. And then she helped us kick the hell out of that tongue. Finally, Melania did something to Gadan and he ended up like that. The tongue of Felmar. One of the pieces of Felmar left after he was defeated by Granas. So there was not only one evil smell. She destroyed the man's souls, right? How can you be so insensitive? Elena, calm down. The cathedral is just across the granite cliffs. Falmar is inside me. But what is happening? translation damn it everyone grab onto something and we fell Good thing they are survived. Ugh! We've got problems! What the hell is going on? Felmar's moon seemed to be shining. Check yourself for injury. Someone is missing. Hey, damn it! Where's Elena? Irina. Perhaps she had fallen earlier. Can't be! Irina! Irina! She's got to be around here somewhere. I'm picking up her scent. Come. This way. This way! Got voice acting here. ね、
またねま待ってミレニアミレニア私はいつだってあんたと一緒なのさいつでもどこでもいつまでもずーっとねま仲良くしましょうねグラナスの歌姫様Yeah, that's not、uh, the video broken. It's just、uh, that the text is slower than the voice. That's all. Hey, Miss Elena! Irina, are you well? Irina, thank the blade. You don't look hurt. What is it? You look like you've seen a ghost. Perhaps it was an apparition, for it does not the dream. The day of darkness draw near. Velmar's moon swells with wrath. The dark one gathers strength yet again. The time of Velmar's awakening is at hand. Hey, hey, it's okay, Elena. Elena! Forgive me, I'm alright, you do. I've just had a. Strange experience. At least we avoided taking a dive into the granite cliffs. I wonder how far off course we are blown to come to this strange place. Looks like we were blown along the granite cliffs towards the north. Looks like we were walking from here. We'll head to the Saint Heim Mountains. Pretty damn hard to miss. And then the cathedral. Yes, we must hurry. Yep, you're right. We must hurry. I wanna finish this quicker than before because, damn, I don't want that to happen again. Hmm? Ah, I missed this first time. Lumina flower. Alright. So, uh, like always,、uh, in the grinding section, I want to talk about something. And that something is the. There, I've been watching two movies in this past month.、Uh, in this past 30 days, I mean. Which is the Transformer. <coughs> uh, Transformer the last night, and oh yeah, I forgot I need to set up this Elena accessory. The Windows tint, um, reflection ring, and Chaos Egg. And then I need to、uh, power up. This book of wizard. This, this, and this. Ah, that's wrong. That's wrong.、Uh, how do I load? Uh, pick the wrong, pick the wrong skill. It should be his. Should be, should have. Ah.、Uh. Whatever, whatever. I was too rushed. Okay, so I need to. Before that, wrong. I'll. Open the the hill status element, and for him, I'll open the killer bro beast king smash. And then I'll just collect some more coins for later. I、oh, have、yeah, before that. Still to. 
have to equip the skills. So Elena will have magic power and in intelligence. Uh, Ryudo will mm, for Ryudo the nah I don't have any lightning spells on Ryudo. Dash and for medic toughness. All right, now we're set. So let's save game and continue. Oh yeah, and last time, uh, I was talking about, uh. Last 30 days, I, yeah, like I said before, last 30 days I watched uh, two movies, which is Transformer: The Last Night and the other one was Spider-Man: Homecoming. And the Transformer was. Disappointing. It got a good premise. It got a good story, interesting story, but it's just uh, how do I how, how do I say it? Too rushed. It's like they put a lot of story. Inside a three hours movie, it should be like two parter or something, two or three part to make it better. But yeah, it's just like watching a summary, a recap of a seria, series, TV series, or something like that, like an anime recap episode. And honestly, I fell asleep. Like once or twice. When I watch the movie in the action scene, it's that bad. Yeah, because. The story progression is too fast to follow. I don't have an inclination to. It's not interesting anymore because uh, it's too fast. But anyway, uh, the week after that, dang. I went with my friends to. Uh, the premiere of Spider-Man Homecoming and compared to the last week Transformer it was really really good I mean the first first thing first Tom Holland was a good Peter Parker and he managed to portray uh, Peter Parker's teenager's persona well, really, really well in this title. Okay. And I also like how they portray. I really like how they portray Peter Parker as a teenager with a uh, teenager's problem. Like falling in love, detention, school, homework. 
and also uh, finding uh, yourself. I think. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, it's that good. But, yeah. Uh, the next MCU movie that we will get is Black Panther. I honestly don't know anything about this character but so far uh, Marvel Studios always managed to uh, to portray the less known superheroes I don't know what I'm talking anymore. So yeah, uh, uh, MC Marvel Studios managed to portray this uh, less known heroes uh, better than anything. And actually make me interest in some of them like Ant-Man or The Wasp or uh, Doctor Strange. Especially in my country, they are less known other than Captain America or Iron Man or Spider-Man. And I'm really, really looking forward to watch Infinity War. Always love my crossover. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna continue to grind and find my way around this dungeon. So, let's meet again on the next story point. Alright, back again, and suddenly the screen become white, and I cannot go back. So let's continue, the Garden of Dreams. Where the hell is this? Uh, story point. Looks like we've got ourselves pretty lost. The fog is so thick. Is this really the right road? Does it really matter? Wait a second. Oh, there is no smell of life in this place. Why do flowers bloom in such a cold and barren place? Who are you? This is my garden. I'm sorry, we are travelers, lost on the road. This is the garden of happiness, my precious secret place. Everyone who comes here forgets their bad memories and gets happy. 
If you come here, it means that your heart wants to be safe. Look, aren't all the flowers so pretty? Um, but... Your eyes, are they perhaps... Yes, my eyes were bad ever since I was born, but I'm fine now. Thanks to Granas, I can see everything now, so I'm not lonely any longer. Hmm? These flowers are nice enough, I guess. If you're into that stuff, not my style. That's cause you're not trying to see. You're trying to be someone you're not. Warm your heart, like this one's. Miss, I thought you would understand how good this place is. What do you mean? Don't you understand? Then you should ask the girl with the black wings. Black wings? Anyway, keep this place a secret, promise? Miss, don't eat me. Eat? Is that a bad translation or what? Never mind. What's with that girl? Oh well, let's go on. Yep, let's go on. We're in this weird... There's only one way, which is back. So, nothing here, so let's go back. Huh? Now, where are we? Hey, that little girl and her garden. Where did they go? Could it have been a dream? Yep, and the uh, path is gone. Yep. It's not exactly gone. It's Silesia, but let's fight this one first. I, I always go from the uh, more experience points. Okay, that should that that should take took care of every monster here in the area. So now we can get out to Easy West here to a new area. Mm, Miru Mu Village. Hmm, tribal tribal music. There's a certain sadness about this village. I wonder as to its source. Oh, the sister has arrived. I'm so glad. Now the village is safe. Chief! Chief! The sister has arrived! She's here! Sis. Are they speaking of me? Huh? What's going on here? So you're finally come. Our village, please. I beg of you. Save us! You lost me, Chief. I don't think any of us put in weekend reservation here. Huh? Wait. So you haven't come to save this village? Our journey is to the Granas Cathedral. We were merely passing through, but... So you haven't come to save the village? I thought for sure they'd be here by now. What does this mean for us? Good question. What's going on here? 
This thing should be spoken of this place. Please come to my home. Fast forward. I like games like this. You see, strange things have been happening here in this village. Villagers have been suddenly falling asleep. At first we thought it was just fatigue, but they keep sleeping days and days at a time. And you do not believe that they are merely unwell. I wish it were so, but they're not. To be blunt, I believe it is some kind of curse. A curse? What leads you to believe this? The dreams. Ever since falling asleep, all of the villagers keep having the same dream. A presence. Watching. Waiting. Its eyes. Great and terrible. Terrifying. Let me guess. The eyes of Valmar. But I digress. Curse. Right. We have no solid proof, yet we could not bear the dread of it. We sent to to the cathedral for aid. So that's why so that is why you thought Sister Elena was here to save you. Yes, that's exactly so. Well, it's a damn shame, but we, like we said, we're just passing through. But but my ass one thing of you. What is it? Um will you please stay here for just one day? The priestess from the cathedral should be here soon. I don't expect you to take her place, but if your sister stays here, the curse may be somewhat allayed. Another one fell slept today. We are all uneasy. You do. Well, it's dark out. We shall do as you ask. It is not much, but we would be happy to happy to stay in the village. All right. Okay, so before we go into in we need to go to general store first. So here. Yep. Let's get spendy spendy. Sword fish sword. Okay, Oracle stuff I have. Flying fish bow, flint knife, hammer, hammer axe. Hmm. Okay. Sword fish sword. Then flying fish bow. And flint axe. Then hammer axe. And then sell every weapon I have. Flame bird, flame stuff. Burning bow, ice pick, multiple knife, battle axe. Armor, pixie's robe, sleep confusing resistance. Sword fist armor, feathered hat, Magnolia bandana, crampons. Okay, pixie armor for Elena. Sword fist armor for Ludo. Feathered hat for Ron. And Magnolia Bandana for Elena. I can still buy one more. I think I'll buy for Lido. And then sell armor, plate mail, guardian robe, iron helm. Iron bandana, cardian hat, mm, 
then... I can buy this Swordfield Scale Helmet for whatever. That should be enough. Now... Before we go to in, I need to power up uh, the Book of Wizard. Okay, I opened everything. Quick play, quick blast. Okay. Life up, strength, magic power, little chain. And then to equip. I'll just remove this and equip. Quick blast chant because he has the earth element and skilled item use for Marek because he doesn't have any eggs on him. And now in to Mirumu in. And another story. Edina. Could you be the sister? Oh, we've been waiting for you. My son Nicholas does not wake up. Please, do what you can to save him. Um, unfortunately, we are simply travelers. We are not the ones you are expecting. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've made a terrible mistake. If you have contacted the cathedral, I am certain that someone will arrive soon. Please. Wait yet a little longer. Yes, I suppose you are right, but but you say that your son has fallen ill? Sister, perhaps if you look at him, you might be able to learn something. Would you mind coming this way, please? Is this the curse they were talking about? It appears to be so. This is Nicholas. He seems to be sleeping peacefully, but he never wakes up. It is so much fun here. He doesn't sound sick. Maybe he's just easily entertained. We. Is this not just like a... Is this not just like a den? You're saying Falmar devoured his soul? Yet, there is no foul smell about this place. Unfortunately, I cannot help you at all. That innocent face. Maybe he's playing with the fairies in the Garden of Dreams. Garden of Dreams? The place we passed through. Irina. Before arriving here, we came upon a garden filled with fairies. You can't be serious. It's a tale told to children, full of songs and fancy, meaning nothing. It's a fantasy. No, it was definitely real. Flowers everywhere and fairies fit flitting about. I couldn't dream this up, believe me. There was a little girl, a strange girl, who could see everything. She had a scar above her right eye. That's Ira. Sandra's daughter. Oh, how eerie. So this curse was the work of Sandra after all. Please, do not be so quick to jump to a conclusion. Is Sandra from this village? Sandra. She lives in the back of the village. How could that hateful wretch do this to my poor sweet Nicholas?
Dudo, if that girl were indeed Aira, I would like to speak with her again. Huh? I keep thinking about what she said. Don't eat me. Well, you have been putting a few pounds. You have to see it from her point of view. Oh, stop. She was an odd little girl. And I wonder, was that garden real? As real as the dreams of a wise man. Neither fantasy nor substance. A mist rising in the morning, melting into air by noon. If we find Ira, we can ask her. Yes, we shall see. Are you though trying to be sarcastic here? Ah, oh, Nicholas, how could it come to this? Sandra is to blame. That witch. How could she do this to Nicholas? We have no proof that the Sandra person did this, right? We may have not proof, but before this happened to Nicholas, that woman's daughter, Ira, her blindness which couldn't be cured by any doctor, she suddenly got better. Don't you find that strange? That witch! She did something to Nicholas. That's the only explanation. Recover. Yes, but right after that, aren't you hungry? I'll cook the best dinner I can. Really? I just cannot wait. Have a walk or something while you wait. We don't have much here, but you can relax. Watch out for Sandra and Aira. That's interesting offer, but unfortunately, I don't have any any much time or space for this recording. So yeah, that's all the time and the space that I have for this session. Thank you everyone so much for watching. This is kind of interesting, the dream world and stuff. There will be more grinding in the future. So yeah, I'll be skipping those. Hopefully by the next episode, I already have my new hard disk, but I digress. Again, thank you so much everyone for watching. Uh, leave your comments below if you have anything to comment at all. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And let's meet again in the next video. Puntan!